It was quite a pretentious launch, wasn't it? There just seemed to be all this talk of like, we are saving music. We and are we, beyond commerce. We are, we are beyond. Yes, it's, it's, of course it's commerce, it's business. Um, I like the idea that artists are owning their site, that's fine, but it's whether the money goes into the pockets of a millionaire who works for Apple or Deezer or whether the money goes into the what pockets of Jay-Z. What are they worried about, that they don't get paid enough? I think the issue that some artists have got is that they're not getting enough revenue from sites like Deezer and Spotify and iTunes and by setting up their own uh, site, they'll be able to get more money and more control as well. That's and do we know how idea. much more they're going to get? I don't know. I don't know what the splits are, uh, are going to be. Also, in the middle of this, you have got the record company. So it's not just artist and someone like Spotify. There's a record company in the middle as well, taking their cut, taking their sort of percentage. So it's not just about these artists versus other streaming sites. It's and for those artists. of us who want to listen, what difference is there going to be between Tidal and all the others? Well, they are, Tidal are saying that they're offering a, a lossless, full CD quality streaming service. So incredibly high quality, as it would be on a CD, which begs the question to put a CD on. Um, <laughs> but other sites do sort of very, very high quality sort of streaming as well. So it's not that different. So people different. are going to switch if you've got a Spotify? Well, I don't think so. I mean, 15 million people are on Spotify, 6 million people are on Deezer. Uh, and it's over half, an, under half a million are on title at the moment. So I think it's a question of convenience. I think it's going to take more than a bunch of celebrities signing this agreement as a sort of new declaration. People will surely only switch if they really want to listen to something on Tidal that they can't get elsewhere. And is that going to be the case? There are going to be exclusives on Tidal, I'm sure. And that's one of the things that they're sort of pitching as being an exclusive thing that they do. But then again, with the state of the music industry, if something appears exclusively on Tidal, it won't be long before that appears in the shops, on iTunes or on Spotify anyway, just because they'll have to distribute the music wide just so uh, it makes some money because it is, you know, it's a very wide sort of marketplace out there. I don't know if they're just going to be limiting things to just their site. Anyway, you probably get pirated regardless and end up on the website <laughs> with a thousand other people within seconds anyway. So, What about, apart from Spotify, there are others, aren't there? I mean, are they, are they all different and distinct or not? Um, all have slightly different um, offerings. Neil Young, the, the musician, has launched mm -hmm. Pono, which is a, a download site that offers a similar thing, CD quality audio, he says, as the artist intended. And that's a bit more expensive. So it's whether you're after convenience or after uh, the number of songs. I think Spotify has got the most songs available. Mm -hmm. uh, some people like different interfaces that feel more natural to them. What do um, you mean? In terms of the way that you click, how many clicks you have to use to get to your music, okay. uh, how it looks, how it feels as a user experience. Uh, Apple, who used to dominate the music market, the download market with iTunes, uh, as downloads have become less popular and streamings have become more popular, they're going to be returning with a new Beats music streaming system very soon as well. So it's a crowded marketplace. I don't know whether having Beyonce and Jay-Z and Jack White and Daft Punk is going to change Might things. Might put people off even. <laughs> uh, maybe, but th then again, I mean, the idea of music not being for free is a very important one, and that should be commended for their attitude at the very least.